The Human Experience, Inside the Humanities at Stanford University, humanexperience.stanford.edu. I actually have three films that will be part of the show. Um, the curators chose an early work of mine and a sort of mid-career work and then my most recent film. So on rotation in the gallery is a 10-minute film I actually made in 1976, a film called Sticks, which is an impressionistic uh, filmic expression about the Philadelphia subway. And then I have a film also in rotation called In Harm's Way. It was made in 1996 and it's a personal film about how women of my generation were socialized around issues of um, empowerment and threats in the world. And then on the evening of my lecture, I'll be showing a 53-minute uh, minute film, which is my most recent film. It's a film called Big Enough. And it's a film about dwarfism that follows up with some little people that I first filmed in a, uh, 20 years earlier for a film called Little People that came out in 1982, and this film was released in 2004. As a documentary filmmaker, it's really a, um, a gift because I can become a temporary expert in many different areas, and I'm motivated just by things that I see in the world, experience in the world. I've never made films for com on commission. Um, so these particular films, one was generated really by a visual catalyst of being in the subway and looking at people's behavior. Um, I, in Harm's Way, was obviously motivated by personal experiences since it's a first-person film. And Big Enough was motivated by a short article I saw in a newspaper in 1980 about a group of dwarfs getting together to discuss their problems. Now that YouTube is out there and the means of technology have become so much more accessible, I sort of joke that everybody's a filmmaker. Anybody who can afford a $100 camera considers themselves a filmmaker. And so when we get students in our graduate program, um, oftentimes they'll pitch an idea and I'll say, oh yeah, you know, there are five films on that subject and you know, their faces sink and they feel like maybe they should move on. But I'm actually a big believer in the idea that, um, and in the belief that any idea is really worth pursuing if the artist has, feels like they have a new perspective on it. So I do feel that if I were to give an assignment to eight graduate students in our first year program to all make a film on the same topic, that we would re come back with very, very different films because any experience or any subject will be distilled through the filmmaker's own experience, their own sensibility, their own artistic um, approach, and so on. So um, I, the, really the criteria that I think is most important for any of our student filmmakers is that they feel really passionate about the subject and that will, um, con that will contribute the endurance that they need to go through the arduous process of making a film. Well, I specifically chose to work in documentary because I'm really drawn to working with real people in real situations. Um, I've never really been interested in working with actors or fiction films. I just feel like there's so much, uh, the palette is just enormous when you're a documentary filmmaker because really any, everything and anything is sort of ripe for exploration in film. Um, therefore, I do make my films with an audience in mind. I feel that the you know, range of subjects I've picked have been interesting to me, but while I'm making the film, I always keep in mind who is my audience, what will they bring to this subject, what kind of a priori information do they have, how will it change their experience of the world. Um, and so I've made a film about women in body image. It was an you know, issue close to my heart. Um, the most recent film I'm working on now, the current project, is a film about altruistic organ donation, which I have no personal relationship to, but I think it's a really um, important, challenging topic to make the viewer confront where they are on this continuum of altruism in our culture, in our society. So my hope for my work is that A, it gets seen, which I've been lucky enough that most of my films have been on national public television, so they do get seen, and that people are perhaps imperceptibly, but in some way there's a shift in their consciousness as a result of seeing one of my films.